Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is our fifth film in our series, How to Build a Simple uh, Electronic Meter. It just has two simple parts, a, um, a meter cap and a meter base. And what we're working on right now is a meter cap. We're about halfway through it. We have a couple of additional features to add to it. As we uh, noticed in the previous uh, films uh, preceding us, of course, are uh, a couple of the features we put in here. We did our, uh, our boss with the draft, a cut in the top of the draft. We put a shell in the bottom and we put in a tab. What we'd like to do now is put a hole in the tab uh, with our hole wizard feature and then do a circular pattern around it. We're going to put five tabs equally spaced all around this. And then ultimately we're going to put in uh, a cut in the top that's going to give us some uh, holes that we could use for uh, viewing a display behind that and perhaps put in some buttons. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing you'll notice over here is I renamed all my features. I have my base, my front cut. As I click on these things, you can see I'm highlighted into the user interface. Uh, the back shell and the bottom tab is what we've added so far. But one thing we want to do right now is we want to go ahead and show our sketch 3. Your sketch 3 may be sketch 1 or might be uh, a different um, a different value. But one thing we want to do with sketch 3, and I notice I didn't put my point in there, is I'm going to put that point in there. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that sketch. And I believe that point is going to be 9 millimeters. The nice thing about putting in a point in now is that I have all this geometry in here. I can make associations with the existing geometry and then just use that point later for my uh, for my modeling needs. So I want to make that 9 millimeters, but because I'm uh, dealing with uh, circular uh, objects here, I'm going to go ahead and put an arbitrary uh, value in there. But click on that and go back to the leaders button because we're selecting something that's circular in nature. We have the ability to make it center, minimum, or maximum. I don't know if you've seen what the maximum is going to look like, but it's going to actually dimension the whole thing all the way across, you know, 250 something. But what we really want is the minimum. And the value that we really want in that should be 9. We're going to make that 9. Okay, let's go ahead and rebuild that. Now we have our point in there that we could see. Let's go to our whole wizard. Now I've already done this before, so it's probably already going to pre-select the, the 6 millimeter hole. But when you get there, it's you're, you want to select that 6 millimeter hole. You want to just do a, not a tap hole, but just a straight hole. So, just hole. And metric as we go down the list. Uh, drill sizes. They don't necessarily need uh, the drill size here. Or you do want to select drill size here as opposed to the other ones. And uh, then go down here to the size Excel. You want to make sure you pick 6 for the diameter, which is 6 millimeters. The line, we're going to make sure we do through all. It's not going to interfere with anything that's below that. Go to positions. And we don't want to do 3D sketch, but we're going to go ahead and click on the surface. And then try to pick that up that hole. Now, if we're normal to the surface, that point here would be easy to pick up. But since we're not there, we're going to just go ahead and uh, arbitrarily put that off to the side. Do escape once. And then we're going to click on that point, click on this point, and make that coincident. So what I've done before I did the, the green check mark on this thing is I did escape once. While I'm still in the sketch uh, portion of this, um, of the whole wizard, gives me the, uh, the ability to make additional edits to those sketches or that sketch element that I had in there of which right now it's just the point. So I made those coincident. That point should be black. And we're going to go to the green check mark there. And you'll notice that the point is black here. We're going to go to the green, green check mark there. And now you notice that we have a hole. Circular pattern. Think about a circular pattern is you're going to need to have an axis so that it can circulate around. We're going to do two different features. We're going to do the tab feature and our whole wizard feature. So let's do this. We're going to go up to view. Go to temporary axes. We're going to turn our temporary axes on. And then we're going to go up to the linear pattern. If you go up to the, the features portion of our command manager, go to linear pattern and pull, go to that pull down arrow where you're going to select circular pattern. And the parameters is asking for up here. It's automatically asking you for the features to pattern. But let's go ahead and start from the top and work our way down. Uh, the parameter, pattern axis, we're going to click on our temporary axis here, 360 degrees, if you don't have 5 selected, you probably don't, you might have 4 or 6 perhaps, type in 5, and the features to pattern, you can do one of two things, you can go to the flyout feature manager, that's a test question by the way, know what a flyout feature manager, which means it's not over here where the other managers are, but it's a flyout, it's over here on the right hand side when you're in a, a different manager over here, such as your properties manager or configuration manager as an instance. Uh, features to pattern, you can do the, the bottom tab and the hole over here, or you can select it over here. 
So you can see your preview of it, and then we want to select the hole. And you can see the preview of the hole here in yellow. And then if everything else looks good, sometimes you have to click on geometry pattern. But that green check mark should work here. Now we have that circulated there. Okay, let's hide our sketch. Your sketch, my sketch three, your sketch one. Well, let's go ahead and turn off our temporary axes. We don't need those right now. And let's go ahead and sketch on this surface. What we're going to do is we're going to put in these slots. There's a couple different slots that we're going to use. And you notice that our triad's a little bit skewed. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our front view. I'm going to make that normal too. I'm going to make it a little bit easier to draw. And let's go ahead and uh, go into sketches and put in some geometry in here first before we start drawing our, uh, our slot sketch elements. So let's do center line. And we'll go up vertical from there. I'm going to go back to normal too. I don't know what it was doing there, but it wasn't giving me what I wanted, so I turned it a little bit. Now let's go to our slot sketch uh, element over here. So we have a couple different choices. We do straight slot, center point straight slot, three point arc, and so on and so forth. What we want to do is we're going to do a center point straight slot right on the bottom. And before we do that, let's take the center line and extend that down a little bit. I'm going to use my trim entities. And now, since I've taken it off the origin, I'm going to go ahead and select the midpoint of that, the origin, and make those coincident with each other. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be able to put our uh, straight slot down here based on that line. I'm going to use the center of that straight slot on that line, on that center line. And the same thing with our arc, our uh, circular slot. So again, let's go to center point straight slot. Click on that line so we can establish that relationship. What it allows us to do is it draws out a horizontal line first and then the thickness of it. It's going to put in some dimensions in there if we ask it to. There's a little button over here that allows us to put dimensions in there. Let's go ahead and click on that if you don't have that selected so we have our dimensions already in there. And let's put in some values in there. Let's make that 40. Yeah, that, doesn't, that looks a little short. Let's make that 90. You notice that this line is already horizontal so we're going to keep that. And for this one, we're going to make that 40. And to try to tidy this up a little bit, if you click on any of these blue points over here, see what sort of degrees of freedom that you have. You notice that we just have a vertical uh, freedom there. If we put in a dimension that defines perhaps from the center line to where the origin is, it should lock that into place. Okay, now we're going to put in our, uh, our uh, three-point arc slot. Uh, the thing with the three-point arc slot is it allows us to establish a point over here, a point over here, and a point over here, and it'll put that arc in there for us. But we're going to do this in one uh, feature. We're going to do one feature with two sketch elements in that. So we'll select the center first, the side, and plant that down. And, you know, that's not really quite what we're looking for. Let's try something different. Not the three-point arc, because that uh, kind of works like a three-point arc where you start from one end, go to the other end, and then you define the middle. What we really want is a center point arc slot. This allows us to click the center, which is where the, the origin's going to be, expand that out like we're drawing a circle, and then from there we can draw our arc out. And that still doesn't work out right. It's not in my book. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and correct that. Delete that relation, pull this out over here a little bit, and what we want to do is we want to take that center point, that point that's in the, right there in the middle, and make that coincident. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and take care of some of these dimensions in here. Uh, with this dimension over here, you can make that as big or as wide as you want, perhaps 60 degrees, 80 degrees, which you want is a fairly decent sized window. Uh, perhaps this radius. Let's go ahead and make that 50 uh, millimeters. And this width over here, let's also make that 50 millimeters too. Instead of 80 degrees, maybe 110 degrees. Yeah, that looks pretty darn close. Okay, let's go ahead and do a cut. Extrude cut. It's going to go ahead and cut from the surface that we sketched on through the object. It's going to go down 14 millimeters, which should be the thickness of it. And we're going to go to the green check mark. And that should complete that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and rename this feature. I'm going to call this uh, our slot cut. And from that, we will conclude this video. We'll start working on our uh, meter base in the next video.